Hi, this is Greg Wagner for going over just basically homework one of of CIS 279 homework one, I guess. Basically, I just want to quickly go over opening and reading from files and uh, using a kind of advanced array type of items. So the first thing you can do for this assignment is download from the D2L page HW1 students text. Now HW1 students text, what that allows you to do is it'll just get you the va get the values. Put this on the top level of your directory. So if you um, of your directory for this particular project or pa um, or package, I guess it's project. Um, so to find that is usually in your home directory. Find work. Um, what is it? Work workspace and then within workspace you should find these different directories so put it at the top level and then when it builds it it will be able to find your directory in a relative scale so the first thing I want to do is I want to bring in this as a file so I'm gonna make this file equals new file and then it's gonna be homework one so make sure I write out the name as a string that's students.txt and then what this is gonna do is I need to bring these in and this is gonna be in import java.io and then I like to put just the full files it doesn't save a whole lot but the full um, class name and the import but it saves a little bit of memory but not much and then the next thing I want to do is I'm gonna make a scanner that is actually gonna read in the value so I have scanner I call this scanner equals new scanner and I'll just basically put in the file in here so you got file So I brought in the scanner and it's going to have a few errors in it. So I need to import scanner, which is going to be in Java Util Scanner. And then I'll also have another error here. For this particular, I need an ha exception handler. So I'm going to surround this by a try catch. Normally, as a rule of thumb, when you do, do with any input from users, always make sure to put the a try catch around it because I'm going to be honest, users do stupid things and they try to break stuff and so you want to put this in here so I'm gonna put this in. Then whenever I make a scanner I always make sure to put the close right away so I have this value in here then I'm gonna start reading them the values so basically we have three values we need to read in we have the student number the student name and the student value so since I'm using a scanner through a text document I'm gonna do read line so I'm gonna do int or I mean you have to read line which basically reads in the values as a as a string and then I I'm going to convert them to integers. So I'm going to call this student num string. This is equal to scanner dot next line. And then I'm going to convert this value into an integer. So I'll do int I'll just call the student num equals new or I'm sorry not new integer dot parsint and then just student string and then for the next part I'm gonna do I'm just gonna read the student name so the student name doesn't need to be converted for this I'm just gonna call this student name equals scanner dot next line and then the last part is gonna be the number and so you can kind of see what the syntax is here of this where I have number name and then the grade and so the grade I'm going to make a double. My first I need to read it as it, so I'm going to call this student. <laughs> Sorry, my dog was howling there. So I'll do student uh, grade. I'll call this scanner dot next line. And I'll, just to make it clear, I'll do student grade dot string and then convert this to a double double student grade equals double dot parse double and then I'll do student grade string and so this will give you kind of the basic values you want to input in 
And then you also want to build arrays. So you should basically build three type of arrays to store this. So there's basically three I mentioned in the text. You have array list, vector, or length list. I'm going to go with an array list because I just normally use them, so I'm a little bit familiar with them. But you do array list, you're going to do the angle brackets, and then what type you want in there. This type needs to be the the class type, so you can't use any, for integers, you have to use int, and I'll call this student nums equals, and then I'm going to de um, define this with a new instantiation integer, and this will just basically make an empty, an empty value. And then I need to import the array list so I get the values. And let's see what I do wrong. Oh, and I also need to put, since this is a definition, I need to put this here. So I got the student nums. And then I'm just going to copy and paste this for the names. So the string, all student names. String double double. I'll call this student grades, and then you can basically add the values in. So in this case, I'll do student nums dot add and add the integer or the integer value which will be student no. And so then you can use the, the for each to get basically the values out of this. So I hope this helps you start with your, uh, your second assignment. And I will talk to you with another video in a couple weeks.